everyone. I hope that you are having a good day. Today, I'll be sharing with you um, how to create an H5B activity, which is an interactive book. Okay, click on Add an Activity or Resource. Hit on the H5B activity once again. And then click on Opens in a, in a new window. And then choose Interactive Book and the Add button. Interactive Book. All right. Okay. So we can have interactive book as our title or it depends on you so it's up to us whether uh as to the number of what's how many how many pages would you like to have your interactive book to have so for example i would like to have three pages on the first page let us insert a content okay by choosing from the following okay we can add here image hotspots okay let us try to add okay a photo which we actually um saved beforehand okay for example this one Okay, so you can choose your own hotspot color, whether it's going to be a plus sign, a minus sign, a circle, or a, a question. All right, so for our first hotspot, let us put that here on the upper right hand side. Okay, and then let us choose what specific content that it would like to be added there. So I would like to add a text. Okay, so which is basically about vitamin C. Okay. Right. Okay. So if you would like to add another spot, or hotspot click on add hotspot and then we can choose another location of the node so let's choose this portion and then let us add another text or image or a video okay so we can also insert an image here uh -huh. For instance, you would like to have the title, okay, on our second hotspot. Now let us add another hotspot. This time we are going to insert a video. Click on video. Okay, so let's check. We can actually search, for example, top 10 sources. Okay, and then importance of vitamin C. Okay. Let's, let us try this one. Why? Oops. Okay, so why why we need it? I mean, vitamin C, why we need it, dietary sources, and how we absorb and me metabolize it. So let us insert the video URL. Okay, insert. Okay, so let us add another hotspot. But this time, let us add an image. Mm -hmm. 
and another hotspot for okay maybe another image or a text All right, so if you're satisfied with the content of the page one, okay, you can now move on to page two. So don't forget to put a title to it. For example, top 10 sources of vitamin C. Okay, so that's going to be the title of our first page. For our second page, we can choose to put um, a text for our content. Okay, for instance, we have the following. We can just simply copy it. Okay, copy. And then paste it here. Okay. For our third page, we can actually have a question set to check whether the student has understood topics being discussed in the interactive book. So let us try to add the question under the uh, question set okay let us try drag and drop oh no let us try multiple choice type of question okay so the question is For example, what is the vitamin C content per 100 gram? Okay, let us create our question here. Content of Okay, that's the question. So for option A, 23 milligrams. Okay. Let us add another option. Is it B? Oops. 18 milligrams. So that's the correct answer. Okay, click on. Don't forget to tick on the correct answer. Okay. You can also provide here the feedback. Okay, for getting the correct answer, let us add another option for letter C. It's for example, 200 milligrams. For option D, 100 milligrams. Okay. We do have the option to provide a specific overall feedback for getting the correct answer or for getting the incorrect answer. Okay, all right, so once we are satisfied with the content of our three page interactive book, click on save. Oops, so alternative text is required. Let this put just the All right, so now your interactive book is generated. Let us try that out. How does it look like on the student's view? 
Oh, okay. Let's maximize it. What if I click this? Oh, strawberries. All right, so we can also watch the video that we've inserted. Get another. Mm, it is the title that we've added earlier. So let us check for page number two. We can add text and also a question set about the given topic or lesson. Check. Okay, got it correctly. Finished. Mm -hmm, I see. Okay, so once we are done with the assessment, okay, the last page would contain the summary of scores. Okay, so if you are not satisfied yet with the content, you can just simply continue to edit. Click on edit. And don't forget to save it afterwards, okay? Thank you so much for watching um, this video on how to create an interactive book. See you on the next one. Goodbye.